Hi, I'm Robert Lee Camois, an Electrical Engineering PhD student, and on behalf of the Rice Center for Engineering Leadership, I'd like to welcome you to Screech 2013. Today we celebrate the graduate student and all the cutting edge research they do here at Rice. They come in day in, day out, perform really hard experiments, write really long reports, and every day just try to get a step closer to that degree at the end of the tunnel. And some may ask, why do a PhD? And JFK might say, we do these things, we do a PhD not because it is easy, but because it is hard. <laughs> but that's not really a good reason to do a PhD. <coughs> You spend five to eight years of your life. I mean, these are, this is a serious thing. But I think a better way to think of a PhD is actually in the name. PhD means a doctor of philosophy. That doesn't mean Hume or Descartes. It means philosophy as in a, what we know, human knowledge. And so many of you ha may have seen this before, especially the PhD students. But you can represent human knowledge as this circle here. This circle encompasses everything all humans collectively know. And at birth, we know nothing, basically. But by going through education, through elementary school, middle school, and high school, we learn a core set of knowledge that's shared by most educated people. We go through college, and we get a little bit of a lopsided bit of knowledge because we're majoring in a department, so we're learning more in that particular area. And we get a master's degree because we want to specialize. We want to get more specialized knowledge that could help us attack problems in that little region of human knowledge. But a PhD, is about focusing our energy, hyper-focusing our energy by reading reports, what's already out there, by writing new, new reports on experiments that are just performed, stretching out to the boundary of human knowledge, and if we are successful, if everything goes right, we make a dent in human knowledge. <laughs> now, this dent can be big, it can be small, but the thing is, people are doing this everywhere, and so that's how human knowledge gets bigger. This is what research is all about, is making human knowledge bigger. Because it's really important, especially in engineering, because there's lots of problems out there, and some are on the boundary of human knowledge. And if we could just stretch our energy in that particular direction, expand our knowledge in that direction, we could attack these problems. There's so many problems out there. Problems related to human life, understanding the brain and the body, so we can advance medicine, help us live longer, live more fruitful lives. Help us with our devices, give us efficient tools to work with, to work and to play more effectively. Natural resources, we want to gather and distribute resources, clean energy, clean water, so that we can be productive without destroying the very planet we're trying to be productive on. Connectivity, connecting people and machines all around the world, transmitting data back and forth faster than you could possibly imagine. And generating new knowledge, new insights from a wealth of data. This is very important in a very large amount of fields. And Rice students daily are working on problems in these and many other frontiers. So I think that's why we do a PhD. It's not because it's hard. We do it despite it being hard. We suffer through the hardness because we want to create impact, direct impact with the world around us. We want to blaze paths to set a metaphorical fire of ideas and innovations to advance human knowledge to a state where we can build technologies to solve problems that desperately need solving. That's why we do a PhD. <laughs> and Screech is exactly designed to help these students along their paths towards greater impact. Here are our goals. Number one, we want to give them a podium so they can express their passion for their research interests. Say why their research is fundamentally important, fundamentally meaningful to society and to technology. So other people can build on their solutions or use their solutions to, to, to generate new output. We want to provide them a way to do this very effectively, to communicate very effectively. Not just for today, because their audience isn't just the people in this room. The audience is future employers, future collaborators. We want to give students the skills to engage and captivate their audiences so that they can get a job, get funding, get collaborations. And speaking of collaborations, we want to generate a chance for connection. That's why we bought beer and wine and set it out out there after the, after the event, is we want you guys to network with each other. We want to, you to, to, to say, hey, that was a really cool screech you did. Could you tell me more about it? Because uh, 90 seconds only takes you so far, but over a beer or, or, or a bagel, you could, you could explain a lot more. So, so we want to offer a chance for connection. And those are our three goals. 
to, to get students to show up in the first place, though, we have to put up a guise of a competition. So we had to fundraise for money, and uh, we did, and we, we, we got very gracious sponsorship from the Rice Engineering alumni and four alumni individuals who are on the back of your program. It's really great that people give back to their community. But from their sponsorship, we're able to offer many prizes today. First, second, and third, very obvious, overall, if they get the best scores, they win. Those who did not place in the top three, if they're at the top of their flight, they also get a prize. That's $400, $300, and $200, and then $100 for each of the flights. There's also a People's Choice Award, which will be voted on by the people in this room today. And we'll tell you how to do that after the event. We're also giving a certificate to the department that performs the best. We'll take the top three screech scores from each department and add them up, and whoever does the best gets, gets this certificate. So those are our prizes, and the scores are coming from a panel of judges here today from academic and industry professionals. It's really great to have you guys with us here today. And judges, I want you to think about this one question, very, keeping it simple, one question. Does the screecher clearly convey societal and technological impact through their research? Now, rate that from one to 10, and please bubble in the bubbles uh, corresponding. 10 is the great. Uh, these are gonna be scored by computer. Um, this isn't the SAT, so you don't have to like, do like exact bubbling, but make sure your X or your check mark or your bubble goes through the middle of, of, the, of the, the mark, because it's getting scored by computer. This year, we also wanted to introduce a feedback element. So there's a comments box over there. So just write whatever comments you'd like, and those will be digitally aggregated and fed to the screechers after the event. So uh, if you write, what is a didgeridoo, they'll see that. But make sure you write very legibly, otherwise they won't be able to read it after the event, so uh, the value will be lost there. Uh, that's our, our judging sheet, and I think that wraps up all the logistics. Um, the exit is in the back. Please exit through the back. Don't, don't interrupt the screechers here. Um, but, but I think we, we can get on with the show. And so I'd like to introduce the MCs who will be uh, leading you through the main course. Jason Holloway is a student of, uh, of Ashok Viraraghavan in electrical and com computer engineering. He specializes in com computational photography. You may remember his flutter shutter screech, which won second place last year. Yeah. Sarah Tooth is a PhD student from the Department of Statistics, and she specializes in computational finance. <laughs> So now, we're ready for the show, and all I ask is that you sit back, relax, and experience the power of rice engineering. <laughs>